It's the slick new Motorola Dynatec 8000X analog service, 35 minutes of talk time, and a steal at $4,000. <laughs> the Samsung Instinct digital service, global, four and a half hours of talk time, TV, video, camcorder, camera, GPS, Bluetooth, wireless. You're mine. You know what? You're gonna love it. Hello? Hello? Hey, Les, remember these? How can I forget them? I mean, for $4,000, you had something that was magical. You were on the telephone, but you weren't in a phone booth. You know, it was only like a couple decades ago that the first cell phone hit the street. Imagine I know, that. I know, we've come a long way, baby. You know, we have come a long way, and we're here today with the go-to guy for consumer electronics and for, of course, the cell phone, Stuart Walpin. Stuart. Nice to be here. Uh, Stuart, you brought some of your favorites here today. What have you brought us? Well, this represents the broad swath of cell phones from the very, very beginning. This is the very first commercially available cell phone in October of 1983, the Motorola 8000X Dynatac. Wow. It cost four grand. It was like a dollar a minute to call people. <laughs> How about this one? one with the well, flip? this is a flip. This is we're going a little further. This is a MicroTac. So you're going from a Dynatac to a MicroTac. And then you go to, in 1996, this is the big leap in consumer electronics for cell phones. <laughs> I remember this, those. This is the Star <laughs> yeah. Trek. This is 1996. This sold like 10 million phones around the world. Right. It was the first clamshell phone. Oh. And the funny thing about this is it's only 12 years old. And it still really looks like an it looks, antique. It looks, although, ancient. It looks ancient. But it has influenced every cell phone that ever followed it. Wow. So, what about this? This looks like the smallest one yet. This, like the Star Trek, was very influential. This is okay. the Nokia 8860. This comes out in 1999. Right. This was the first phone that was really designed as a fashion accessory. It Pick was it introduced up, at Studio 54. Ah. And to a very elite audience, this was an $800 phone at a time where most cell phones were only a couple hundred dollars. Okay, what about these two? These are really the first what we call smartphones. Okay. This was the first one. This is the QCP 635 from Kyocera. Right. And then a couple of years later, this is the very first Trio. What year are we uh, talking here? The, the Trio is about uh, 2002. N now we morph to probably the most influential phone of our time right now is the Apple iPhone. Right. It Good. works on a digital network which right. allows you to get get the full internet as opposed to these phones which only gave you sort of menu numbered lists. So you've gone from brick to slick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Stuart, what would you label as a collect this on this table? Well, from a, from a pure museum point of view, the Dynatac 8000X, it being the first one, has a certain amount of historical value. Right. Yeah, I guess but from that. a personal point of view, the Nokia 8860 is my favorite. It wasn't out that long. This right. was really the first fun phone. And to me, this is the one phone of all the phones I've ever used that I've actually hung on to. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Sorry about that. No, we're waiting. Hello? <laughs> You're not supposed to call me on the set. Sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. He's so rude. I mean, he is. It's amazing. He's, we're twins, but he's the evil twin. I mean, he really is. But, you know, we really did enjoy having you on the show. Glad to Thanks be here. Thanks so much for coming. Sure.